Jacob Reynolds in the bathtub. I mean, yeah. Can you be a little more creative? You got to stick with what makes you money. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what's going on? Nothing much, dude. Just got a couple new projects that we're finishing up here, and um, you know, Doc's starting to get rolling. You know, I know. Finally, it's been released. It's been uh, a long time in the making. It has been. I mean, um, you know, everyone's always asking, when is it coming out? When is it coming out? It's like, it's out, finally. <laughs> it's done. Go buy it. <laughs> so, yeah, man, so let's let's talk a little bit about, you know, how did it all begin? Oh, dude, now you're aging me, dude. Um, <laughs> but, uh, oh, let's see. Well, I mean, it started when you and I were working on that film together. And, you know, we kind of got done and... Uh, you know, I was lonely, needed a new friend, and uh, I guess you felt sorry for me. So <laughs> I felt so sorry for you, dude. <laughs> you wanted to hang out with someone famous. So. so you know, I mean, the whole thing is you're you're you know you finish you do Gummo, and then you take a little break, and then you start doing all these other films, um, right. which there's so many that I won't name at the moment. We meet on that set. We're working on that yeah. film together, and uh, I pitched this this story. You know, this this idea that I have this this idea about buskers. And because um, I had a feeling that out of anybody in the fucking world that I know right now at that moment, you would pre probably be the only one that would listen to me, first of all. So what the hell made you, you know, go for it, be an executive producer in this project? When when you told me about it, it really like I, I could tell it was an idea that you've been thinking about for a while, but you didn't really have the form yet. You know, you had just been like, I know what I want to do. I kind of know what I want to say, but... I'm not really sure how I want to do it, and I don't know why you chose me to be the guy to help you figure that out. But um, <laughs> I've been asking the same question ever since, dude. What do you tell you? <laughs> but I'm stuck with you, man. I'm stuck with you with <laughs> through thick and thin. But um, you know, I think uh, you know once once we sort of look, you know, sat down and looked at it from a, you know, from a, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to sound fucking shitty here, but, uh, you know, from a business perspective, um, and you really kind of got an idea of what you wanted to say, and I think the, uh, you know, this, this form started to emerge that, uh, I was like, yeah, you know, we can actually do this, we you know, can make this it happen. Is... we can make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's still, yeah. it's still keep the integrity. I mean, the whole, the whole, you know, uh, I think why I was inclined to, to do this with you or even ask you, and ho I was hoping that you would be part of it is because after all the time we spent together, I I knew that you had the same sensibilities that I had with regards to creativity, to vision, and I said, yeah, man, if I'm going to do it with someone and it's and it's happening now, it's Jacob Reynolds. Right. Now the question was timing was it was the right you know everything's all about timing you know sure. ideas can be there but and it's like yeah it worked out we figured out we you had a a, a slot available. I had, a, you know, we had, we made it happen. We had a slot available to make this this project come true, okay. and at the end of the day, it's like it worked out, you know, the way it's supposed to. You know, I mean, it took a little longer than than you know, it, it, in the long run, but that's just yeah. Well, I mean, that's because we kept tweaking it eight hundred right. million times. But that's good. I mean, you know, yeah. I'd rather have it take an extra couple of years and be right than and send out something that people go. Ooh. Missed the boat there, fellas. 